Peace, love, and light tribe. What's going on? It's your girl, Crystal, the raw spiritual guru, coming through with another pick a card. So first and foremost, if this is your first time coming through, welcome. If you're returning, thank you for returning to all. I thank you for your time and your energy. You could be anywhere, but you're here with me today. So for that, I give thanks. Okay, so this re-end is basically going to be who is currently jealous of you and why? All right, so if this is your first time coming through, make sure you smash the like and subscribe. For all my returning babes hey y'all what's going on we have three items that you can choose from today these are all mini organites that's available on my shop these protect you against 5g radiation pollution so tv computer cell phone microwaves everything basically electronic based especially that's in the home these ones are mainly for a person so you'll keep these in your pockets or in your bags if you needed to protect yourself from the wireless headphones the apple watches android watches or even um your cell phone itself right so hit me up, check out my website if you was interested in them. They come four for 20. All right. So the first one we have is the black tourmaline one. This one give you additive protection. This one is the adventuring heart. So adventuring is good for opportunity, love, um, abundance, and personal and business life. And then the third one is the amethyst flower. So amethyst is good for healing, overall healing. Um, stress, anxiety, sleeplessness, insomnia. All right, so we're going to get started with pile number one, the black tourmaline mini organite, right? So who is currently jealous of you, Top pile number one? Who is currently jealous of you? All right, so we got the nine of wands, excuse me, the eight of wands. So who's currently jealous of pile number one? The eight of wands. Um... Let's get another card. You have the Page of Pentacles. Let's get one more. Who is currently jealous of pile number one? Um, so I am going to do signs um, and elements. So we got the fire element, the earth element. It could be a fire sign, Aries, Sag, Leo, earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. Um, so this person could be someone that you could be in communication with that's currently jealous of you. Pile number one, you have the six of wands, the eight of wands, and the three of pentacles. So this person could be, um, give me one second. Okay, my bad, y'all. So, um, this person could be someone that's in the public eye. Um, this person could be victorious. This could be someone that's currently in the public eye. This person could be um, someone that could be more famous than you, more known than you, or you guys could be on an evil, an even platform, right? But this could be someone that have um, either. Um, followers, a large following, large groups, um, um, somebody of authority, someone that could, uh, like I said, someone that could be in the limelight as well. If you're not in the limelight, it could be someone that's in the limelight, or if you are in the limelight, it could be someone that's kind of like in the limelight with you competing. I'm getting like a competition type of energy with this. So, this person could be a speaker of some kind. This person could talk about either how to get to money, excuse me, how to get money, how to make money. You could see this person wearing red a lot, green a lot as well. Red or green, you might see this person wear or even tan, khaki colored. Um, this person could be someone that do talk about money. So this person could be like a, a finance guru or someone that's in the realm of finances. They could be someone that, um, educate people on how to get money, stock market, 
banking. Um, they could also just be someone that know how to handle money. Someone that is a business owner that have different business plans or th- business ideas um, that they implement. They could even help people with their business, right? Um, so what I'm getting, like, who's jealous of you is someone that actually got maybe something going on for themselves, right? This person could um, be a fast talker, a smooth talker, always coming in to talk to you about business or elevating or growth or always talking about that towards others, right? So this is the person that's currently jealous of you. It could be a younger person or a mid-aged person as well. Don't necessarily have to be a male or a feminine due to the masculine energy being here. This person could just have a masculine energy. Okay, so why are they jealous of you? So why are they jealous of you, Power One? Oh, so you got the number 15 or number six. They're jealous of you because people appreciate you. People appreciate you. You have a strong appreciation with the um, with society or your following. You got deception so or deceit, number 25 or number seven. And one more. Um, you could also be someone that appreciates the small things in life, right? Um, and then you got number 22 or the number four, yang yang. So you could also be someone that appreciate the small things in life with this appreciation card being there, right? You could be someone that just appreciate and is grateful for all that you are and all that you have. Like you could be someone that is very balanced as well. You balance your masculine and your feminine energy very well. You have a strong, balanced mind. You could be someone that's uh, highly spiritual or really like in sync with like self-care, meditation, yoga, breathing. Like you could be someone that is into, um, you know, balancing your mind, body, spirit, and soul. With this deception being here, um, they're jealous of you. Okay, I'm getting two stories with this deception. You could know this person already and they could feel like you may have deceived them or they may have deceived you in one way or another. But even with the deception, you was able to overcome and keep moving forward. And then it got money to do with it as well. So you could have had a business deal or some type of deal in the realms of finances with this person. Um, some type of plan, deal, work plan something like that you guys could have been talking about but this person could have snaked you this person could have either took your business idea took your business plan took money from you took an idea from you this person could have deceived you in one way or another when it came to the realm of finances um and you didn't allow that to get you down you still was able to balance out your life and you still was able to uh, move forward and appreciate who it is that you are and gain what it is that you needed from this situation so even if someone was trying to snake you you were still able to rise above and go on top right but also with this deception being here the person is jealous of you because um like there go the color red again and just look how the deception card is looking, right? This person could be a bit snaky. Like, that's why I'm getting that you might know this person. Like, this person could attempt to offer you something, but really, like, be playing in your face or deceiving you one way or another. Like, this person could really be, um, this person could really, like, be in uh, a strong deceptive energy, like, trickery energy, manipulation energy. I'm getting it could be someone that you know. So you might need to watch your surroundings, protect your energy. Oh, well, you got tourmaline, so get some black tourmaline. Um, you might need to really, like, up your protection because someone around you could be a bit sneaky. And this person just uh, could see you rising to the top. You could be a rising star. You could be a shining star. And then this person don't like the competition. It's a competition energy more so. With it. Yep. There we go again. The color red, the number eight. We got false person. I mean, like, it definitely gives me someone you know. 
and they wear a mask like someone you know that's wearing a mask this person color is red red and black red and green even red and blue um fire sign again strong fire energy so um this person could have a lot of fire in their chart it could be sun moon rising or venus fire sign energy but this person is truly like deceptive this person is wearing a mask they're not showing you their true course it's a competition energy more than anything so it could definitely be a competitor or someone that she was supposed to work with or someone that said that was going to help you but this person really is trying to take you down secretly they don't want you to be their competitor somebody see that you have a higher light um you have a way with people you have stronger energy when it comes to like attracting the masses with whatever it is that you're gaining or doing in your life um like um like so i get a strong competition energy with someone that wants that may have told you that they were going to help you this person is really like lurking in the background like you know they might smile in your face and then give you like the cold shoulder behind your back or talk about you behind your back to others there go to number 35 or 8 again you got pathway so um this person could see that like i said you are growing you're with the butterflies going towards the light that just gives me that you have went through a transformation and you are on a path like i said you could be spiritual you're a path you're on a path of awakening of enlightenment like you're going towards your you're going towards your truth you're going towards what it is that you feel that the most high is um blessing you with right you're going towards your path you're going towards the next stage of your life you got unexpected income so uh there go money again right this person could be jealous of you because they see that you have money coming your way they see that you are getting paid like you could have a strong business or work at a place where you're rising to the top either way i show advancements i show elevation i show that more things are coming to you i show that um people are willing to spend money with you competition again so you see a coin being held and three of these cards coin being held a coin being held right so it's all about the money because everybody mad okay it's all about the money uh everybody mad hey, hey. so you could be someone that's getting money you could be someone that people is willing to spend money with you could be someone that have a lot of different business ideas and business plans and people don't and this person or these people because it could be up to two people that's jealous of you but they're not liking it because you're taking away their shine so it could have even been a mentor or mentee type of connection and this person was helping you and then you start elevating past them and they didn't like that as well for some of y'all right i'm just going to pick a music card because um look i get money when i was shuffling so like i said it's all about the money somebody <laughs> somebody is um it's all about the money so people are jealous about jealous towards you about the money let's get a, a, a music card for power number one what's going on with power number one um all right somebody that i used to know oh mg y'all i'm not even playing <laughs> yo goatee got t got yeah i don't know how to say their name but i do like this song so somebody that i used to know is the song for this re and so it's definitely someone that you may have parted ways with that she like i said you knew this person it was like you know this person or you knew this person but somebody that she used to know and it's just a breakup song so it's basically somebody cuts the other person off and act like they don't know them at all but now you somebody that i used to know like for real so it's like you didn't have to cut me off you act like we were nothing, but I don't even need your love. You treat me like a stranger and it feels so rough. You didn't have to stoop that low. Change your numbers. Um, but I don't even need it, though. Now you're somebody that I used to know. So somebody could have changed their number on the person. They could have took everything from the person. And they just bounced from this person. And somebody was left salty and hurt. You know what I'm saying? They was hurt. It could have been some type of deception that happened with either somebody stealing stealing or taking money from the other or just deception in general with this 
um, connection with you and this person, right? All right, so um, why are they jealous of Pal? Actually, since that came out, let's get, why are they jealous of Pal number one? Y'all, very soon, clearly decide what you want so it comes to you very soon. release your ex because they can't let you go and i just heard usher i just can't let you go um the time has come to clear your energy yeah man um this ex have a strong energy with you towards you still it could be an ex because that's the ex song it could definitely be someone you used to date or someone that was an ex in one way an ex-partner ex a ex, uh, friend an ex-lover some type of ex but uh this person is jealous of you because they can't let you go. They might see that uh, love is going to be coming towards you soon or that you are a very loving spirit and, like, you get a lot of love from people. Like, this person want to, like, throw rocks and hide their hands. They want you to be seen in a bad light, um, ultimately. Um, like, if, the, if it was up to this person, then you would be seen in a bad light. But... A lot of people actually deal with you, mess with you, want to work with you. So, unfortunately for this person, it's like, even though they're on the rise and still on top, they see that that you are also, and you're now their competition, and you used to be someone that they knew at the end of the day. So, they're jealous of you because it's like you're competing with them, and they don't like that competition energy and the love that you're getting because they wanted to be the only one on top. All right. <clears throat> Why is this person, these people, jealous of pile number one? Somebody that I used to know. You didn't have to cut me off. I am filled by... I am fulfilled by love. See, that's what I'm talking about. Like, you get the love. People like you. I trust the wisdom within and you trust yourself. People like you and you trust yourself. Like this person, this person is upset. You could have, when you probably was around this person, you probably was in your growing stage, like the caterpillar. And now you are a butterfly. You gain your confidence. You gain your self-worth. You gain self-awareness. You gain love, loving yourself. You gain trust in yourself, trusting your intuition, being guided by yourself. You gain self-recognition and growth. And with this, you are becoming such a powerful person that even anybody would have to take notice of who you are today. But especially this ex, friend, lover, business partner, co-worker, whatever, this ex person in your life, see this growth within you. And because you have... This light that's shining bright, this person cannot take it. They like, oh, absolutely not. You know what I'm saying? Let's see. All right. What's going on? Why is um, power one? Why are they jealous of power one? Okay. Art comes in all forms. Dance, music, all forms. And then toxic AF, F boy, F girl, selfish bread come no effort, com non-committal, selfish, confusing. So as I said, this person could have basically been a toxic person for you. Like the deception card was here. They could have been a toxic person for you. This person secretly wanted you to lose. This person was a false person. They didn't want the best for you. Um, this person, if you was in a love connection with them, they could have cheated on you. They could have been breadcrumbing you. They didn't really put any effort in the connection or they was very noncommittal, which was showing their false person and deceptive behavior. Like this person wanted to be the one always on top and you threatened that. This person could have been a bit selfish as well. Um, so it confused you. So you could have been the one that parted ways with this person. And now you're doing better than ever. And this person see that within you. And honestly, this person don't know how to take it. All right, pile number one. So that was your reading if you chose the Black Tourmaline Organite. If it resonated, please make sure you like, share, subscribe, and join the tribe. If not, choose another pile. But until then, peace. All right, pile number two. 
we have the adventuring heart <clears throat> all right so let's see why this person is jealous of you or who is jealous of you first with the adventuring, you could be a very loving person, definitely about your business and your personal life. Take care of yourself. You could get a lot of opportunities in your life as well. Or you need to carry this stone to attract that energy. Okay. You got the Empress, the Three of Wands, and the Knight of Wands. So you got about three people that is currently jealous of you pile number two this person and this person could wear the color yellow red or green a lot as well as khaki tan this person or these people you got both feminine and masculine energy that's currently jealous of you. You got uh, older energy, mid-age and young energy. So you got about every age group that may be jealous of you. You got younger people, you got older people, and you got mid-age people. You could have a fire sign that's jealous of you, Taurus that's jealous of you. So Leo, Leo Sash, uh, Aries. Leo Sash, Aries, Libra, I'm hearing, as well as Taurus that's currently jealous of you. Um, these, some of these people could be people that um, are planners and action oriented. So these people plan and then um, move forward with their plans and make actions behind their plans. These people um, could like be strong business people or fast talkers movers and shakers as well this, these people could always just move forward and keep moving keep moving keep moving towards the next thing towards the next thing towards the next thing um these people could be people uh that could be hitting or do things behind your back as well like these people could always have their back turned to you, but really like looking behind them to see what you're doing and where you at with things. It could also be a mother figure that's currently jealous of you. It could be either your mother, uh, uh, someone else's mother, a spouse's mother, a partner's mother that could be jealous of you. Um, this person could be jealous of you because they could either feel like you are stepping on their toes and taking their role taking their place or it's something within you that is bothering this mother figure as well that's currently jealous of you i'm showing that some of these people could be people that have a lot some of these people are people that are gaining a lot and some of these people could be just living life as they go as well you have about up to three energies that's currently jealous of you, pile number two. All right, let's see why. Y'all, I don't even do readings like this because they be long. Like when I just shuffle on camera. Um, you got the number two journey. <clears throat> and I noticed that you got three, three here twice. So 33 could be an angel number. Three, three, three be an angel number you see number three could be of importance to you up oh, and there we go confirmation of three people right journey why are they jealous of you you could be a free spirit person you could just just live your life and just allow life to happen to you there go 33 again so threes is definitely important for you 33 or the number six but we got three 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 so like i said that angel number three 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 and now we got 13 the number three again but 13 or the number four all right so these people could be jealous of you because you are always on some type of journey and <laughs> Even with you being on a journey, it could be hindering your pockets, your finances. Um, um, so you don't care. Like you could be the type of person that make money to take trips, make money to enjoy life. You might be the type of person that don't hold on too tight to money or like overwork yourself 
to just live. It's like you allow life to happen for you. So when you do get money or enough money that you may have saved for a vacation or a trip, you're going to take that. Um, some people could see that she could say that you might be a bit irresponsible too. So I'm also getting the energy that even with that type of mindset, you could forget to pay certain bills or things like that in order for you to move forward and to take these trips. And it's not for everybody, but whoever the shoe fit for, uh, you could be someone that um, don't take care of the priorities, but take care of what it is that you want to do in the moment that you want to do it because you're very free spirit and you figure it out after the fact. Like I'm getting strong, sad energy. You figure it out after the fact. Like, you'll be like, all right, well, I'm going to figure it out. But today, I'm going to just do this. So, you do before you think. And some of these people could be jealous of that mindset that you have with the do before think. you like, whichever way the wind blows, I'm going to go. And if my money is a little funny right now, I'm going to get it back one way or another. But I'm going to take this trip and I'm going to enjoy myself. So, you're very live in the moment type of energy. You could also have a lot of love coming to you or a lot of suitors that comes to you. You could be a hopeless romantic or you just have a very loving energy and people flock to you when it comes to the matters of the heart. You could have a lot of different opportunities that come into your life when it comes to love. Um, you could also... Uh, I'm not a player, I just crush a lot. Uh, I'm not a player, I just crush a lot. Crush, 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 crush a lot. Hey, don't steal that, that's my little song. So um, people could feel like you're a player, but you just have a lot of crushes. Like people just crush on you a lot. You know, like people just like your energy. They wanna be around you. So when you do take these adventures or vacations, you might meet a lot of people on these trips and you might just, um, go with the flow and allow life to happen right so with that being said let's get a music card for you what's a music card for pile number two um yeah but people uh could be jealous because they feel like you might be broke or don't have money like that to be going on all these trips you got r kelly greatest sex so um, people could be jealous that they hear <laughs> with the door to romance. Um, they might hear that you are a great lover behind the doors. You hear them say it like you might not like R. Kelly, but if you never heard that song, that song is a, a deep song. So um, people could feel like you have some good good, you know what I'm saying? And um, some people actually want to see if they could experience that with you. And they can't because even though you might be known for having a good experience behind closed doors, you're not one to show everyone that experience either. You know what I'm saying? Or you could be someone that showed people that experience, right? So I'm getting for half of you guys, you could be someone that is really like looking for a strong romantic partner and really looking for like a connection or especially the sage energy I'm getting. I'm also getting that. No, no, not really. I'll just show you that I'm the great. <laughs> so also with that energy, you could just be le like uh, loving them and leaving them. Like you could be showing people the greatest experience behind our closed doors and then you could be leaving them right there where they at. So you could be known or have a reputation of a heartbreaker. And um, I'm getting F boy, F girl too. So people might think that with that energy, you could be an F boy, F girl. Like you might not even have nothing to offer them financially or to give them financially like you have enough money for yourself and what it is that you want to do but you would show them a good time behind closed doors and then you will leave it at that so you might be people feel like you might be someone that have a lot of one night one night um only experiences or you could be someone that um is a love them leave them type of energy like you just love them and leave them um you know, you get in that type of energy. So a lot of people are jealous of that energy you have because like, how is this person that don't got much getting all these people, you know, you got a reputation behind closed doors, right? So I actually want to pull, okay, what is the energy? Why is people jealous of pile number two?
<laughs> I'm hearing um, Rihanna woo. Send for me. Ooh. I don't really want to love you. I don't really want to care about you no more. Sweet, not sour. Be sweet, not sour. Believe what you feel and trust your intuition. Um, so people could be jealous of you because you have a very sweet demeanor about you. Like even when people try to get you out of that energy, you could be someone that stands firm in the energy that you keep. You could always trust your intuition and believe what it is that you feel, believe who it is that you are. You trust yourself always um, over anybody else. It's like you hear advice, but you don't always take every advice because, you know, not all advice is good advice. Um, but you have this very sweet energy about you, and I thought we were going to have some um, SEX cards. <laughs> but it's basically saying that you have, like, a strong belief in what you feel, and you trust yourself first and foremost, right? So, all right. Why are they jealous of power number two? Ooh. Send for me, send for me, send for me, send for me. Um, you got the number nine. So variance of three, number call 19 or 20, uh, 19 or the number 20 go to two coffin. Um, you could have a C in your name or these people could have the letter C in their name. I don't know why that stood out to me. Um, but they're jealous of you because... Some people feel like you change. You could change up a lot. Um, don't get too comfortable. The change up always tend to happen. Like I just heard somebody say that. Courtship C. The letter C. So change, court, Courtney, coffin, coffee. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm just seeing the name, possible names. Chris. Uh, C names. It could be a C name for somebody, but you got the number four. Um, change, coffin, and courtship. That's what I was just saying. People feel like you always change up with them. You have no problem changing up the scene, changing up the person. You had a uh, courtship right here. So, why well, I keep hearing I'm not a player, I just crush a lot. Like, you have a strong player energy. <laughs> They feel like you have a strong player energy or you just woo people. Woo, woo. Like, I don't want to love you. I don't want to care about you no more. Just come here and give that to me. Like, you know, like, you like, yo. A lot of people may want to court you, going back to the door to romance. A lot of people want to court you, but you're not in a court of energy. you the type of person, like I said, you'll come in for a good time. I'm here for a good time, not a long time. You know, I, and th if this is not resonating for you, please choose another pile. And it's more so why people are jealous of you. I'm not saying like, this is how you are. It's not that what's the tea on you. It's basically like people feel as though like they jealous of you because you are a, a wooer. You're a player. Like you get a lot of uh, uh, attraction from others like you know they feel like um, a lot of people may want to court you but you would love them and lead them like you would start a connection and end the connection it's like they feel like the change up is real you could be someone that's always going through transformations and changes but it's also because you believe in yourself and you trust yourself you trust your intuition you always on a journey of self you always kind of self-focus People might feel like you're selfish, Aries, my apologies, but people might feel like you're selfish, self-focused of every individual energy. It's kind of hard for courtship to take place, even though you might have new beginnings in love. They don't really stick. They kind of end as soon as they begin. And it's because you, they feel like you might need to figure out what it is that you want in life, what it is that you want in love. And let's pull a love card. Thanks for me. What's going on with why they are jealous of power number two? This could be the one in chemistry. Yep. 
So like I said, a lot of people feel like they got a chemistry with you and they want you and they want to court you and they feel like you could be their one. But I'm still getting an individual energy. So pile number two, do you not want love? Is love not on your radar? <laughs> Pay attention to the red flags. Um, they feel like you could be a walking red flag. <laughs> they like Pile number two. People are jealous of you because you might have a lot of sex appeal. You might have a strong attraction, strong desire. People want to be with you. They feel like you could be a walking red flag because you love them and leave them. You could be someone that have uh, you attract these people and then you change up and switch up on them. And then now it's a wrap. It's over. Connections don't last long with you, even though people want them to. They might not. And they also feel as though that, you know, y'all have strong chemistry. A lot of people, like, they're going to color red again. Strong color red. Too hot to handle. I'm getting so Aries. Aries and Sag are standing out more than Leo, really, in this reading. Too hot to handle. Like, people might feel like you just too hot to handle. Like, they jealous of you because they don't have the energy that you have. Like, you could be someone that don't really have a lot financially going on or your money could be a bit tight and you might not even spend money on the other person but they still are open to getting to know you and to hanging out with you and being with you and seeing what could happen and you don't even give them that energy all right y'all so i'm just gonna pull one more card all right what's going on for power number two why are they jealous of power number two because you got game i heard you got game See, basically, you know your worth. You waiting for satisfaction. You're not settling and it's taking forever. It could be um, people see that you could you could be single. Um, could just been recently single or you're about to be single. But it's because it's like people are jealous is because, like I said, you might have this player energy, but more so you're very selective. You know who it is you are and you know what it is that you want and you know your worth. And if it takes forever, you're going to wait forever. If it takes forever, then I'll wait forever. <laughs> you are not settling. And people are jealous of this quality because they feel like you're a very attractive person and why are you single and it's because you know your worth and you don't care if you owe to the bones you just gonna be waiting for the true love to come into your life and you was not going to be settling with people that's going to either hinder your growth or not give you the best love that you desire because once again honey you give them the best love they desire especially in the bedroom all right so that's your reading pile number two if it didn't resonate please feel free to choose another pile but until then peace love and light follow for more all right so last but not least we have the amethyst pile number three all right so why are they jealous of you who first who is jealous of you pile number three Power number three, amethyst, healing. So you need healing. You might need to carry amethyst stone. You could be an Aquarius, have Aquarius in your chart. Um, amethyst will be important for you to handle at this moment. You could be going through some stress and anxiety, sleepless nights. Um, but you might need to heal certain aspects of yourself. So it might be best for you to carry this crystal. Okay. All right, so what's going on? Who is currently jealous of pile number three? Ooh. All right, you got the four of pentacles. So it could be heavy earth energy. Um, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Who is jealous of pile number three, please? <laughs> Who is jealous of pile number three? So this person is definitely stubborn. Stubborn. Card's not trying to come out, pile number three. So a person could be stubborn. Heavy earth sign. Heavy earth sign. Taurus, I got strongly though. Taurus, strongly. But you got Taurus, Virgo, and Cap. All right, so... I'm getting holding too tightly. Afraid to lose control. Um, all right, I'll just take these two. Heavy earth sign. 
heavy heavy earth sign taurus then i say taurus taurus strongly all earths all pentacles the person that's who is jealous of you is about their money this person works hard they could be selfish virgo my apologies <laughs> this person could be selfish they could be working towards a greater future greater goals a greater vision they want this they ultimately want this ten of pentacles with the wife husband archetype so this person could be working on their coin they could be heck hella selfish this person could be selfish very tight with the money this person don't want to give the money this person don't this person might always come from a place of scarcity like oh i ain't got it oh i ain't got that oh i ain't got that mm, you got that mm, that's wild like you spending money on that oh that's wild so this person could be someone that clocks your money or clock what you spend your money on this person could have money but they play like they don't this person is a hard worker this person is always working always grinding always hustling this person is probably always at work always at work uh, this person could be someone also that is in the family connection. Um, it could be a mother archetype as well. Um, so it could be your mother. It could be a mother. It could be a spouse or a partner's mother um, that is currently jealous of you. You could have up to, I'm getting like you might have a couple people jealous of you. You could have about six people that could be jealous of you and one could be a strong mother energy even even a grandmother or grand aunt that's jealous of you um and someone that see um someone that like i said might have money but act like they don't got money um this person could already be abundant this person could already have a family it could be a whole family that's jealous of you even a dog <laughs> sorry um this, this, it could be a whole family that's even jealous of you um definitely um you got masculine and feminine energy that's currently jealous of you um and you got a couple people jealous of you Let, let's just see why why are these people jealous of pile three why are these people jealous of pile three Um, you got the number 28 or the number 33. 30 that goes down to 3. Victory. And you are very victorious. Whatever you set your set out for your path tends to come to fulfillment for you. Victory tends to always be on your side. You have community, the number 7. You could be a very uh, beautiful or handsome person. Um, a lot of people like to flock to you. You have like a rare look to you. And then you got manhole in the coin, 43 or the number 7 again. All right. So you could be, um, yeah. All these people kind of are beautiful, right? In one way or another. And they, they're they well kept, Right. So you could be someone that take care of yourself. You're well kept. You could dress well. You could have a very like piercing look to you, a strong demeanor towards you. You have like your eyes are you, your eyes could be a bit piercing and seductive. Um, um, you could flow a lot. I'm getting flow a lot. So you could be someone that just go with the flow, flow with your own energy, walk to your own beat. You are okay and comfortable in your own skin. You have a lot of uh, people that's outside that really like you and would love to work with you or be a part of your team, be a part of your tribe. Um, you could also attract people that have money. See, this is a strong money one too. I think another power was about money. I think, yeah. Um, but this one is like, these people a strong earth energy, but not really grounded but more so rooted in finances where with the man holding the coin and then they got coins on this one too so you could also be someone um that have money um like i said they could probably also see you as competition 
but you could be someone that look good and you could be abundant with finances or money like um you have you could also have different business ideas and different business plans and ventures that make you residual income or you know that keep you with different streams of income like you could be someone that have money as well so not only you are you attractive you're very victorious as well when it comes to how to make money how to gain money how to keep money right so some of these people could feel like money kind of come to you easy and that's why they could be a bit jealous of you because they have to work hard for every penny that they keep and they just have to keep it but they always have to work hard because they ultimately want to get to this 10 of pentacles but it seemed like you could be someone that already have the 10 of pentacles like the sun is shining on you you have bright lights towards you people like to be around you right so you could be someone that is successful in one way or another or people see you as being successful and you might have someone that is secretly competing with you or multiple people that are secretly competing with you because you shine too bright and they want to dim that light but they have to work they feel like they might have to work 10 times harder than you like things might easily come to you and they feel like they have to put in that work for it to come to them okay let me see what song we got for you Okay, what's the song? Why are they jealous for pile number three? What is the song? Why are they jealous of pile number three, please? Mm -mm. Okay, so um this <laughs> Sorry, y'all. You might need to listen to pile one, pile number three, because this could either be a continuous of pile number one, because that's the same song I got for pile number one. And I really did shuffle somebody that I used to know. And then they also had a strong money competition energy, which I'm kind of getting. Car is completely different, though, but it's still the similar type of energy. So if this is really resonating, make sure you listen to pile number one as well. Somebody that I used to know is an ex basically cutting off the other person, taking everything and acting like they don't even know them no more. Like, peace, Duciana, bye, bye, bye. Okay, so like, at the end of the day, um, it could definitely be someone that she used to know. It could, with this Ten of Pentacles being here, it could be a person that she may have been with in the past, an ex-spouse, an ex-partner with a longevity connection, someone you used to have a family with or had. Like, maybe you probably had kids with this person as well. Um, maybe you guys could have worked on something together and you parted ways and now you're very victorious and they're still struggling in a sense to get to the next level. But um, I'm just getting a heavy energy of a past person, especially because this is a love song, a breakup love song. So it could definitely be someone that she may have dated in the past or been with in a strong love connection in the past that is currently jealous of you. And it's because you guys kind of got similar energies when it comes to making money and gaining money but you got a, a light shining on you and this person feel like they got to do everything they can to get to your level it's like a, a strong another strong competition um type of energy they they watching you and still working hard but they don't feel like you working as hard as they are but you're shining you're glowing you're gaining traction and they want that all right let's see what's going on all right why are they jealous of pal um why are they jealous codependency see it could have been like i said it could have been with the relationship aspect of it right because like i said it's, it could be up to six people but like the relationship aspect of it is like strongly coming out so this person could be jealous of you because they used to be codependent on you like especially when it came to finances like y'all could have worked together on a project or making money together or helping each other become better and to both become like an alarm light and victorious but ways got parted and like they felt left behind yep and um you could have freed yourself from this connection or, or they could have freed themselves from this connection but it was time to basically end this codependency um with this person and like even though this is a love song 
the energy that I'm getting, like that's a portion of it because you do have several people that's jealous of you. So even if this is like an ex person when it came to working with them or having some type of business with them or even an ex friend, like this person ultimately was codependent on you. They were codependent on the energy that you had. They were codependent on like your business ideas. Maybe like y'all could have been partners when it came to like a business idea or even work together at times. And then when y'all parted ways, like you continue to do it and they didn't even know how to do it. Right. They could have felt slighted in that way um, because it was a strong codependency with y'all business connection or how y'all was making money. Okay. Why are they jealous of pile number three? <sighs> um, you got lovers. See, that's what I'm saying. Like the strong love connection. <laughs> strong love connection coming out. Number 15 or 6. Distant horizons. 36 or the number 9. Yeah, man. Like, um... And you got community twice um, in, different, in different decks. So the number 39, number 12, or the number 3 community again. But you see how this community look versus that community, right? So don't this one look more like family? Don't this one, wouldn't this remind you more of the Ten of Pentacles? Right? So... Yeah, all right, y'all. So if this love part ain't resonating because it's coming out strong, you might want to listen to Power One because it is also a similar energy of a co competition um, with someone being jealous of you. But this love one is just coming out right now, y'all. So you have community, the lovers, and distant horizon. So basically, this is letting me know that um, why they jealous is because like you could like you could have been with this person it could have been a family dynamic y'all could have been together and y'all broke up and some of you guys do have a strong family and you are known in the community you might have a stronger uh, you might have a stronger reputation in the community than they do and this is distant horizon so this was like this could be a future thing too so you could currently be in this connection right now and you could be going through a term oil with a partner and in the future what's going to happen is you guys are going to have like a fallout but you will still be elevated and known and victorious where this person will be lagging as well um, this could could have also been a long distance connection somewhere some a connection where one had to travel to another and that could have been a reason for the ending as well. Um, but strong community vibes. Um, like I said, you could be favored in a community. Like this person could have been a jealous partner one way or another. And this could be something that's going to be coming up that you don't even see happening yet. So if you're in a connection with a partner, it can happen to you. You guys could break up and you could go through a bad ending. And then with that, if you are in business together, you might part ways, but you will still be successful in making it. And unfortunately, this person will feel like they have to work extra hard in order for them to like move forward and move ahead. All right, we're going to get one more card. Why are they jealous of pile number three? work out um so need to work out start a practice need to build strength over work and break needed so uh, we're going to just take this card okay as it is so basically they are jealous of you because like i said they feel like they are overworked they are overburdened they have to do so much they have to do so much in order for them to gain security and to get security and they need a break but they feel like things come to you easy and they may have wanted to work things out with you in this connection but whatever term oil is going to take place is going to take place in a in a sense where you're not going to be able to talk to them, them no, no more if it if it's happening or if it is going to happen 
or if it already happened, then something's going to take place where y'all not going to really be talking to each other like that. Even though somebody did want to work out, <clears throat> somebody could have got uh, the connection broken up with because of being lazy and not working out. Um, and um, not being like a team player, starting some type of routine. Maybe one person or the other was really into heavy fitness and wanted to be you know, a healthy version of themselves and their partner wasn't. And that could have also been a reason for the disconnect. But someone felt as though that... Um, they need to build more strength physically and mentally and the other person might have that as well but ultimately uh someone is jealous of you because you have a stronger physique as well as mindset than they do and that's something that they want as well all right pile number three so that's your reading if it resonated please make sure you like share and subscribe and join the tribe if not feel free to choose another pile but until next time peace love and light follow for more